Continuing now, Jewish groups in the U.S. getting creative in an effort to lobby support for Israel here in America. Turn on your TVs in the coming weeks and you could see commercials advertising similarities between the U.S. and Israel. A million dollar TV ad campaign was just launched. Take a look. Israel is America's real ally in the Middle East. Israel is a democracy that respects the rights of individuals and gives all its citizens the right to vote in free and fair elections. And in Israel, unlike other countries in the region, all people, Christians, Muslims, and Jews, enjoy freedom of religion, press, and speech. America and Israel, shared values, shared visions for peace. Are the new TV ads part of a smart PR strategy, or could they backfire? And what's the real message? Advertising expert Philip Noman joins me here in studio. Thanks for joining us. So many times we see companies that feel they're getting maligned or not getting a favorable spin in mm -hmm. the media, and they'll come up with full-page ads in the New York right. Times or, or run TV ads. Very similar thing we're seeing here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is an effort that uh, has uh, a great deal of validity right now. Uh, Israel is looking to align themselves with the United States, support the United States, proclaim that support, and TV is the best medium to do it. It sells that message. Do these kinds of things usually work, or is there a tendency to backfire, especially when you're, 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 you're putting an image up against what people are seeing in the news? I think that the backfire is going to happen regardless. So this is a, an important effort. Uh, the backfire will uh, take place by virtue of groups who will use the Israeli message as a scapegoat for anything detrimental in the Middle East. How do you remain, especially in a topic like this, how do you remain sensitive to your audience? Are there things that, in coming up with an ad like that, you have to be very careful to avoid? I think you have to avoid your own initiative. Israel is not making any claims about its own culture, about its own future. It's simply supporting the U.S. and the relationship between the U.S. and Israel as one of solidarity and democracy. I have another question, but first I want to run a little, another sure. clip of an sure. ad and we can continue our discussion. Here it is. Ten Arabs and 17 women are in Israel's parliament, and both men and women have access to education, modern health care, and good jobs. Israel, like the U.S., is a true democracy based on freedom and equality. Now, you know an ad like this, it, it, does it risk losing credibility when it doesn't touch those issues, those sensitive issues like curfews and travel freedom, the violence on both sides? No, I think that this campaign, which is funded, of course, by U.S. citizens uh, in an effort to create a coalition, uh, is, is really first and foremost, foremost designed to simply state that you're looking at a democratic society that is behind another democratic society. Israel is showing support for the U.S. They are not dealing with their own issues, their own fears, their own future. They're simply talking about the relationship between two democratic cultures. That's an important message. Would it surprise you that at least CNN is not running it? Uh, it, it doesn't surprise me uh, to some degree because of the influences that uh, obviously are involved in CNN. Uh, the Arab groups take umbrage with this particular campaign. There's nothing in the campaign but egalitarian messages. So it's, it's surprising. Is it, by, by running an ad like this though, is it a subtle challenge to the news organization's editorial integrity? In other words, you guys aren't really telling the straight story or you're, or you're spinning the story. We're going to set the record state straight. Well, I think, I think the Israelis are simply, again, I, I don't know that it's, it's, it's that so much as it is the Israelis saying, we are behind the U.S. in whatever efforts the U.S. puts forth in the Middle East. That uh, we are like the United States and we are an ally like Great Britain in anything new that comes along. I think it's simply that kind of PR effort. All right, Phil Nolman, thanks for coming on and talking about this. Appreciate it. Pleasure. The Jewish group putting out those ads ran into some big resistance when it tried to get airtime with CNN, as I mentioned a moment ago.